Legacies are built day by day and year after year on the shoulders of every guardsman at every level. Here this evening, a local National Guard unit is being honored for its service fighting overseas. Our Fort Hatchet takes us to Winston-Salem for that ceremony honoring these soldiers. North Carolina National Guardsmen stand ready to answer the call to support our state and nation. From the Hindenburg Line to the Battle of Mortain, to Iraq and Afghanistan, our valor and our success was built on the sacrifice of those who came before us. We take care of our own, supporting our guardsmen and their families, ensuring a reliable force. In 2021, we continue to support the COVID-19 response. This year, one of our own returned home. As the sun was setting, the remains of First Lieutenant James Dick Wright arrived at RDU International Airport. He was killed in France on September 10, 1944. His body was not recovered due to fighting and his remains were only recently identified. They never gave up hope that he would come home. His sister still living, 100 years old. I talked to her on the phone and uh, she is elated. So to me, it's a promise kept and it's a way to honor someone who gave everything their last measure of devotion to the country. We deployed on short notice for the presidential inauguration and helped secure our elections through cyber support. North Carolina National Guardsmen will assist with security in Washington next week. Governor Roy Cooper mobilized close to 550 guardsmen today. 350 will stay here in North Carolina to support local authorities. This year, we were the first to receive and fire the new Paladin and are ready to respond to future war fighting missions. NC heart training or rapid airfield damage recovery training, our Army and Air Guardsmen have ensured their readiness throughout 2021. Regional training site. We are executing RDR operations as part of the rating process. Air Force Civil Engineer Wartime Operations just got a major boost with the first of four new Rapid Airfield Damage Recovery or Raider training locations in the continental United States. Our guardsmen are staying relevant, adapting to the changing battlefield, and leading the way in cybersecurity while training and supporting partners across our state and country. As we pause to look back on this past year's accomplishments, we know we are continuing to build the legacy of the North Carolina National Guard since 1663, now and into the future.